pleading in my case liberates me utterly oh pray my lord and grant your blessings always eternally upon muhammad his companions and his family i said pray my lord and grant your blessings always eternally upon muhammad his companions and his family ya rabbi salli ala muhammad wa ala sadatina alihi wa sahbihi kiram ya rabbi salli ala muhammad wa ala Satatina alihi wa sahbihi al-kirami Mawla ya salli wa sallim daiman abada Ala habibi ga khayri khalqi kulli himi gul Mawla ya salli wa sallim daiman abada Ala habibi ga khayri if he does not take my hand what reliance can there be on my works and on my prayers offered so distractedly and may blessings rest on Abu Bakr, Omar, Uthman, those who merited the caliph's robes as did great Ali and upon the believing legions who came after them faithful women faithful men peace be on them constantly oh pray my lord and grant your blessings always eternally upon muhammad his companions and his family i said pray my lord and grant your upon Muhammad his companions and his family Salut! Um, how many of you have heard um, Sheikh Hamza's poem called Spring's Gift? Has anybody heard it? MashaAllah. Any, any, any more hands? Okay, is it very, oh wow. Most of you are not aware of this poem. You guys know who Sheikh Hamza Yusuf is, right? Yeah. Okay. Really, like, you guys know who Sheikh Hamza Yusuf is, right? Okay, many years ago, he wrote a poem about the Prophet Sallallahu He called it Spring's Gift. Spring's Gift, what does that mean? Anybody? Light? No, what, what does it mean, spring's gift? Rabi'il awwal Allah. Rabi'il. Spring is Rabi'il. The Prophet is Allah's gift to the universe. He is spring's gift that Allah has gifted to the universe. He is Rahmatullil Alameen. So, uh, uh, this poem is called Spring's Gift. Um, would our beatboxer be willing to help me out? No pressure. If you can, that would be great. Okay. Um, let, let, yeah, take that microphone. Let me do a beat. And then, you know... It, oh. Can you turn it back on? Va is just like the universal Desi exclamation. Va. Okay, while he's doing that, um, I'm going to get into it and uh, inshallah he, you, you'll join in. Mm. Ah.
sound that met his feet I'm jealous of honey he tasted sweet Of birds that hovered above his head Of spiders who spun their sacred web To save him from his enemies I envy clouds formed from the seas that gave him cover from the heat of a sun whose light could not compete with his whose face did shine so bright that all was clear in blinding night form completely dazed, not knowing if the sun had risen, or if the sky was in unison, with those who prayed and fasted too, simply because he told them to, with truth and kindness and charity. From God who gave such clarity. His mercy come, his mercy comes in one he sent to make our hearts more heaven bent. To see his light, he taught us all to be God's slaves, and he will be the one who saves humanity from sinful pride. Muhammad has God on his side. Oh, Restored life to the dead. The cup that gave him drink, his thoughts that helped us all to think, to be a thought that passed his mind, inspiring him to act so kind. For me, this world is not one job. If I could simply be a thought, O Rasul Allah, Nabi Allah, Salawatullah ala 
عليك يا حبيب سلام عليك يا نبي سلام عليك يا رسول سلام عليك اللهم صل وسلم وبارك عليه وعلى Last year, this is, are we in 2013? We're in 2013, right? Uh, no, this year. Or maybe it was last year. No, I think it was this year. Yeah, it was this year. Uh, earlier this year, um, we were visiting Edmonton with Dr. Omar. Uh, Dr. Omar Farooq Abdullah. The last time he had been in Edmonton was 45 years ago. Two years before he had become Muslim. And we were going to do a maulid in the very first purpose-built mosque in Canada. It was really cool. Um, and I, um, there was these lines that I had left, uh, written a long time ago, and I sort of took them on the plane with me, thinking maybe I'd write something, maybe I'd read them, something would occur to me and I'd write it. And I looked at those lines, and you know, this again, it's not just the barakah of the people you're sitting with, but it's also the barakah of people you're going to visit. Because, again, these words came and I wrote them down. And uh, I, I was weeping as I finished the song. The song is called Witness. Uh, it's about that moment in the time before time, in, when Allah talks about it in Surah Araf, where He gathered all of mankind together and asked, Alastu bi rabbikum, am I not your Lord? And we all answered, Bala shahidna. We all answered, what? Yes, absolutely, we bear witness to it. The song is called Witness, because it's about that moment. This moment occurs in a time before time. And because this moment is outside of the flow of time, it is with every moment in time. And it is just as relevant in every, to every moment in time. But in a different way. The manifestation of that relevant is, relevance is different. So this song takes, like, looks at three different shades of the manifestation of this moment um, throughout uh, our lives and beyond our lives, inshallah. Uh, if, if the song gets too confusing for anybody, just ask me afterwards, please. Reminding, am I 
Before I forget, there was these two young, uh, I think two, two little kids up there who asked something for me. So here we go. Tala al Badr ala yaina min thaniyat al wadaa wajab shukr ala yaina mada alilahida. walk into the room. Allah wanted the song to be sung for Imam Zayn. I had no idea you were coming in saying it. Uh, <laughs> Alhamdulillah. Um, I am... Um, oh, where is that word? Beatboxing friend. What, what happened? Yalla <laughs> ta'ala. Okay, this is uh, the first time we are attending this uh, collaboration, and it's um, these are special words written by a special man. Oh, he's trying. 
by Earth's walls. Mm -hmm. Oh, 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 Allahu Allah, Allahu, Allahu Rabbi, Allahu. Only wa hasbi ya Sayyidi, ma li siwa hu 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 Thank you very much.